you going guys? Welcome back to Discovery. Um, today I'm going to be fixing up my garage. This is a new build garage. It's completely empty. There's nothing going on. So we're going to be finishing the walls and putting up a ceiling with a lock ladder. So this is the garage from the outside. It's a single detached uh, new build so it's completely empty. Nothing really going on. We've got unfinished concrete floor unfinished walls um we've got your standard kind of up and over garage and here we've got electrics in there but we've just got you know there are the rafters so the idea is we're going to put some loft board in here and a drop down ladder to go down to here so we can actually use it as storage space because there's quite a lot of space up there and we're going to be finishing the walls with uh, all this plasterboard that we've bought finish it properly and um, paint it you know plaster it and then we're going to put up some a ceiling as well with some spotlights so yeah it'd be good to see the uh, progress on this one So here I'm building a loft ladder which is going to be going up in between the uh, the, jo the joists on the ceiling um, so it's just going to have a standard loft panel that pulls down so this is a kit you can get from you know B&Q or Wix or what have you I'll put the link in the description but then it comes with everything you need as long as your uh, joists are your standard 60 centimeters apart it should just fit in that hole and then you just got to screw all together and screw it in between the joists with a bit of support and it'll work fine. So this is where we're up to so far. We've put in the loft board in and we've had to take this kind of a bit of a beam here and then we've added a second support there. Looks a bit ghetto at the minute, but then we're putting another support there and then we can start putting that ladder in. So as you can see, as you come up here, we've got all this extra storage space. So yeah, it's coming along. How's it going? Uh, this is the progress so far. So, go on, come inside, Victor, cameraman. You know, I've got the, uh, so far we've done the boarding up to about here. And then we've put in the uh, drop down uh, ladder as well. So, I'll have to show you how it works. So, basically, you just pull on this here and then you pull it down straight forward. Yeah. And then you just fold out the ladder. You come around this side. Pull out the ladder. Oh shit! I still don't know what I'm doing yet. Oh, there we go. Pull out the ladder, and then you can just walk up. You know, get what you need to get. So what we need to do is tomorrow we're gonna go down to the shops, get some more uh, of these uh, OSB boards, board up the rest of this, and then the whole floor will be complete. We just ran out of the time. Um, so couple of things we had to run, we ran into. So basically this uh, support kind of, it's not really much of a support, but it's just going all the way across. So we had to like cut that off here to fit in the, the hatch. And we fitted these uh, joists here. So we've got one there, one on the other side, and screwed them into the current joist to put in the, uh, the ladder to get it to work right. And then once we screwed it all in, you know, it's pretty much sorted really. And then we had to measure out this ladder bit here to make sure that it, it you know, made flush with the uh, with the floor and we just cut that down and then that's about it. So yeah, it's quite cool. You know, pretty straightforward. You just need to put it away like this, chuck it there, and then you just kind of pull it up like that. And then, and then I put my stick in your stick. <laughs> just got to push it up. 
boom, and it locks into place. So yeah, so yeah, next update will be tomorrow when we've uh, finished boarding up that and then the electrician's coming in to do his bits, getting in the first fix in for the spotlights and put an electrical switch here as well. So stay tuned. So this is day two, current update. We've uh, managed to board the whole ceiling now. So it's all ready for um, you know going up from storage. Um, and we started to put plasterboards on the ceiling. Um, messed up a bit there, bit of a ghetto job, but we're managed to fix it once we uh, have it all finished. So yeah, we're just up to this bit now. My electrician has let me down, he didn't come. So I'm struggling to find someone else because I can't really do anything more with the blaster boards before the electrician comes in because he needs to put his wiring in between. So what an arsehole, he's kind of messed me over. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully I can get one sorted in time um, to get all finished. Okay, so we've finished the ceiling now, so we're moving on to the wall. So what we've done here is because uh, we've got this bit of, uh, what's it called this? A bit of conduit here, and uh, it's sticking out. So when we put the adhesive on, it's going to be wobbly. So we put these like buttons, um, which are the same depth as the conduit, and then we're going to put the foam all over the board, um, and then it'll fill in the gaps and stick to the foam, it'll sit proud of you know, the conduit, so that's the idea. So we've got this pseudo plaster board adhesive foam. Um, so it's meant to be quite straightforward, so this is my first attempt, so we've got all wrong, here we go. Right, um, three centimeters from the edge is supposed to do it. Uh, that there. Comes out pretty seriously. Okay, now we've got most of the plasterboard put up here now, um, so we're just doing the actual corners because whenever you get two plasterboards to meet, it always looks a bit crap. So you put in this like metal um, frame, uh, it's called a plasterboard bead, and then you just got to simply staple it to the board, and then obviously when it comes to smoothing it out in your uh, taping phase, you know it'll look neat and tidy. So. Finished plasterboarding the whole thing, so come on, uh, let's go, go inside. Right, so we've done all the walls as well, all the corners. We've shown this corner here, Victor. See this corner? We've put the beading on, so they're all straight and stuff, ready to be um, plastered and joint aid with tape. Um, done all the ceiling here, that's all done. Um, and we've done the floor. 
done the uh, front as well, the garage door. So that's all, it's all ready really to start doing the, putting in the gap filler. So we've got a few big gaps. So like there, for example, got a big gap there. Um, got one here, you know, there's just a few dotted about, mainly along the, uh, the roof ceiling. So we're gonna get some quick dry um, gap filler, fill in all that. Um, and then we can move on to uh, taping um, and uh, joint compound, so that's what's next. Okay, so this is called corner tape. Basically, it's different from the uh, joint tape in that it's got like this metal, two metal sections there to so just reinforce the corner. So basically, you just need to fold it in like that, and then it creates like a stiff. It creates like a stiff uh, uh, corner tape piece that you can just. Dot in the corner, so once you've got your mud on there, I'm just like pushing it in. You know? And you just gotta work it into that corner and then push it into the mud. Like that. It's a messy job. I'm probably doing it the wrong way, but again, I don't know I've done this before and it's my first day. Push it into the mud. Alright, and once you've pushed it into the mud, you need to press it in with your, with your knife on each side and squeeze out all the excess, so just like that. difficult because I've got this metal uh, bead so I can't get the knife perfectly flat so I'm gonna have to go off the life way all right so once the tape's on and it's, you squeeze it out you've got to put the last layer of uh, mud on it and then scrape it off and then that should be a corner done All right, so here I'm finishing the bottoms of the plasterboard by fitting this stop beading on. Um, so it's a simple matter of just kind of measuring up the piece where you want it. Um, and then, you know, cutting where you need to cut using these. So these are, uh, they're called um, uh, tin, what's it called? Tim shears. Uh, or tin scissors, tin shears, tin scissors, something like that. Um, and basically, it's it can cut metal, you know. So you just got to put it, up, mark it, cut it, and then you just got to screw it to your plasterboard. And what it means is you don't get this raw edge like this, which will obviously get messed up over time, and you can easily get kicked or dented or whatever. So it gives it a bit more reinforcement there um, if it has this kind of metal edge, which is obviously steel and it makes it a lot stronger um, because I'm, I've decided I'm not going to pad this out and skirt it um, instead I'm just going to um, dust it all off, clean it up and paint it with white masonry paint and then I'm just going to put the flooring up to the edge of that and it'll still look fine So here I am. I'm just putting up some architrave around the. Uh, let me just flip the camera around. Around the, uh, you know, this ladder door. Uh, I'm just going to make it a frame, you know, to hide all the ugliness. 
um, and then I'm just putting that up and then tomorrow the plaster is coming and he's going to skim coat the whole garage it's all prepared and taped and ready for him he just needs to come in and do his thing um, and then going to get the flooring done and then electrician's got to come in and do his bit for the spotlights and then it's done All right, so skimmer's just been in and he's plastered, he's skimmed like the walls so far. This is day one of skimming and it's really starting to come together now and look like an actual room. So, you know, I painted the bottom of them brick white because it's just a quick way of just doing like a simple skirting and then obviously this bit's going to be painted white so now it's just got fresh plaster on it but once the floor is laid down it'll go right to the edge of that and it'll look right um, but yeah it started to look like a really finished room he's done this he's done quite a lot of progress here done the uh, ceiling it really bring the whole room together uh, there around the frame so it looks a hell of a lot uh, more finished now already so we've just got these two walls left to do um, and you just need to plaster them skim them and uh, polish and then it's ready for a quick sand once it's dry and then the painting. So yeah, definitely getting there. All right, so the flooring chaps have been in and they've screeded the floor. So look at that. It's finally got rid of all the dust that was on the bare concrete, which is good. Um, so yeah, it's starting to really come together. Um, probably gonna have to do another quick lick of white paint on the uh, border here um, before they lay the actual flooring down but it's looking good and the plaster's drying quite well so still not ready for paint I reckon in a couple of days it'll be dry enough to put the mist coat on and then crack on with the paint so yeah and then I'm gonna get a uh, draft excluder to go here underneath the garage door as well to stop the leaves and dust from blowing in How's it going guys? Alright, so the plaster and the skin coat is dry and it's ready for uh, the first mist coat to get ready for painting basically. So what I've done is I've got my uh, uh, paint scuttle here and uh, basically I'll mix um, one part of paint with one part of water to create a mist coat and then you just got to kind of lay it on at the moment I'm doing all the cutting in, doing all the borders and then I'm going to lay it on with the uh, roller um, and then put that uh, mist coat over because it's fresh skin it needs like a, a surface that can you know with, not just soak in the uh, paint on once you have to put the paint on so that's why you do mist coat so I'm doing that now and then once that's done um, and dry you can get on to doing the actual painting Okay, now we've got our mist coat completely finished and it's dried over 24 hours. So now what I'm going to do is put on our first layer of thick, full, undiluted paint. We're just going to uh, do one coat today, we're going to do one coat tomorrow, and then it should be pretty much finished then. And then it's ready for the flooring to finally go in and the electrics. Okay, now I finally finished the garage makeover and it's completely done, so let's open it up and have a look. All 
right, so this is what the finished garage actually looks like when it's all absolutely done. So let's start with the flooring first. So what we've gone for here is what is called safety flooring. This is what the flooring company put in for us. They came in and screeded it all and then they put down this really hard wearing industrial flooring, which is um, supposed to be like non-slip, easy to clean, easy to look after as well. And it doesn't really mark very easily. At the front of the garage, we've gone for a weather strip which stops the rain from coming in, all the leaves and all the dust and stuff coming in. And it's really hard wearing again. You can drive over it with a motorbike or with a car and it won't damage the thing as well. As you can see the walls now, they've been fully skimmed. Um, they've got all the plaster boards up, it's been fully skimmed and then we co coated over it with, with two coats of really hard wearing uh, paint. It's a Leyland Trade hard wearing mat and it's uh, really hard wearing and you can wipe it off if it ever gets dirty. And for the electrics, the electrician's come in and he's installed us um, an extra switch point here. So we've got a switch point there. So if we ever want to uh, put a, a fridge here, we can do. Um, there's a switch point right at the back here, which still works. And um, we've got the new spotlights, which really brighten up the place as well, especially at night when there's, um, uh, you know, when you're not got much light and obviously in the day, it's really bright today. So they're not really, you know, working out that much. But one thing is you can see the spiders a lot more. I can tell you that with all these, uh, uh, with this new white light, uh, white ceiling and all that kind of stuff. Um, so for the workbench, we've gone for the Clark uh, workbench. It's a 1800 mil workbench and it's really hard wearing as well. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to put together, but you've got the drawers in there, um, which kind of open up. You can put your tools in there. It's really good stuff. And it's a lot of uh, real estate to work on. And um, we've got some um, a matching Clark uh, shelving here as well, which you can obviously put your tools on. We, at the moment, we've got some alcohol on it there. We've got some like uh, painting all, all on it there, and you've got some nice under storage here to keep your tools and stuff like that. Um, plenty of room left, you know, to put some more storage in. We plan on putting some more on the left and the right, you know, um, and then when eventually you've got the motorbike in, that'll kind of fit in nicely there as well. So let's have a look at the um, the stair. So obviously we've got this stair now where you can open it up here and it looks really really cool you just simply pull it down like that and then you simply pull the uh, ladders down and you've got immediate access to the actual stairs itself dead simple and it's unobtrusive and you wouldn't even know it's there until you actually do it but then obviously you can walk up there what we've done is we put a little light at the top of the ceiling there and that, what that obviously lets you do is let you just see inside there it's a simple battery operated light and it lasts for a long time because you're not really going to use it all the time only want to go up there when you want to throw up some suitcases and put, put up and down the christmas tree all that kind of jazz um, and yeah, it's really easy to do work with. And if you ever want to put it away, you simply just fold up the uh, ladder like that. And you know, oh, there we go. You just fold that up and it goes slowly and it simply goes all the way back up and it latches into place. Dead simple. And obviously up there, cause we've got all that chipboard uh, paneling. We've got loads of room for storage and all that kind of stuff there as well. Um, and you know, that's uh, pretty much it. I mean, it's quite straightforward. Obviously I'm still using it as a garage, but it's a lot more easier to work in. It's uh, dust free, you know, it's nicer to put things in. You're not gonna get it all, uh, if, you, if you're worried about putting like fragile things or stuff that you don't want getting wrecked, then doing this really helps out because obviously you can put stuff in here and store it and it won't get wrecked and it's still out of the way and keeping it nice. And that's pretty much it guys. Let me know what you think of the, um, the garage. Um, if you've got any, uh, uh, you know questions about what I did at certain points uh, of the video then please let us know in the comments if it's helped you out please drop a like and subscribe on the channel it really helps me out as well and don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time